<laughs> you hold the apple. Let's go. Let's go and find baby. Mm. Baby's downstairs already, isn't he? Ready? Let's open the gate. There's Mr. Bear. And there's Dexter waiting to come back in. Right, what are we going to have for breakfast, team? We stroke Mr. Bear very nicely, because poor old Mr. Bear. What are you having for breakfast, Ted? Milk. Milk. Should we do the first stairs relay? You go up first. Dexter, stay. Gotta be quick because we've got to get baby. Uh, uh, uh. Quick bit of bribery so that I can go and get the baby from downstairs. On to relay number two. I think this is the hardest thing about the two under two situation is trying to be in two different places at once. Empty bowl. We've got a bit of a situation in that, I know this is too much information, my left boob, what are you doing in there, is about to explode, Ted is still asleep, I mean it's great that he's asleep because it means I can concentrate on Angelica, but I am starting to be in quite a lot of pain. So hopefully when she goes to bed, which is in about 20 minutes time for her nap, I can give him a bit of a feed. And then it'll all work out perfectly. And then it's really nice and warm outside. So I might go and sit outside with the baby and do, I always do my work in nap time. Um, so we'll do that. I say always, but actually I don't often have both babies by myself at once because my husband works at home quite a lot. And also then we have the nanny on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, lovely Jody. So um, yeah. This is sort of a rare day in a way. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. What are you up to? Good. Don't take the new roll off. <coughs> Hold on. We can't. <coughs> we can't get downstairs at the moment. 
Angelica's in bed. I've moved to a different camera because all my batteries have run out on everything. It wasn't very good forward planning. Um, so she'll be in bed for either, well, anything from about an hour to two hours. So anything really, really essential gets done now, late morning, over lunchtime. Um, but I'm so, so hungry. I've got to run down and get some food first. Maybe we'll do the essential bits of work first and then we'll get food. This is amazing. I didn't realise you could record stuff from your laptop. Um, I've been trying to do some work for the past half an hour and it's just not happening, is it, Ted? It is not happening. The doorbell has gone about four times and we've tried to have a little feed but we had to stop because somebody knocked on the door and then the dog barked. So it's all going on. We're just having a bit of a lull, aren't we? And do you know what? This is one of the things that I find most frustrating about having two under two or just two and just sort of being a mum in general and that I have to keep reminding myself of is that when you're trying to do something else and it's really pressing, you find yourself frustrated because babies cry and toddlers need things. Um, so what I try and do is not have anything else to do because actually, if you're just concentrating on them, it's absolutely fine. It's when you start trying to throw other things into the mix that um, it gets really complicated and you just start feeling a bit overwhelmed. So on days like this, I try and cut down the amount of other things I've got to do. But it is difficult because life has to go on and you have to do other things. And, you know, if you've got a job, then you have to do bits of work probably and admin for the house and that kind of thing so um yeah i do try and cut down my commitments i suppose we could say i'm not sure what quality this is going to be like this this bit of video let's have a look sorry about ted's bum being in the whole thing should we turn you around Take this tea party on the road. Can you talk us through what you're wearing today, Angelica? Yeah. No. <laughs> Angelica is wearing a little pink cardi from Gap and some magic trousers, aren't you? Dungarees. Mm. Dungarees, magical trousers. Let's switch to good camera. Hey. Pick up your dolly, otherwise I'm going to have to kick her into the kitchen. That looks really bad for me on camera. You pick her up. Good girl. There's Dexter. We're having scraps for lunch. Scraps? That sounds terrible. We're having leftovers for lunch because yesterday we had a little uh, mini barbecue in the garden. I don't know I'm saying mini. A normal barbecue. And there's loads of stuff left in the fridge. I hate leftovers, so um, I just can't stand having them around. I'm just using them up. That's what's happening, really. Angelica got a new hat yesterday. It's quite good on me, actually. Hat, good girl. Hat. Ooh. Television used as an extra parent is how I'm dealing with having two under two. What are you doing to the baby? Are you putting a glove on him? No. Can you put it on mummy's foot? No. I don't think Dolly's in there. I think Dolly's downstairs. You get the blanket. Bring your pussy cat. Bring the pussy cat. Oh, bless you. Try doing. Oh, here's the bunny rabbit. Look, here's the bunny rabbit. For our next trip, we're going to attempt to go for a walk. Um, not with the dog because that's just too ridiculous. But with the double Christian. Oh, Angelica, come back here. Yes, we're gonna go. 
go out in the push chair? This is like some crazy endurance test. I can't even find the right key for the door. Um, Hi Dex, sorry. Dexter can't come. It's enough. Oh look, baby's lost her hairband. Right, off we go on our walk. Woo, whoa, that's heavy. How are you feeling down there? You feeling good? Toddler, baby, and baby. Get through the gate, can we, Angelica? To go to the river. We're gonna have to do plan B gonna go the other way down the river. Angelica wants to get out so we're gonna go home and I don't know why we just didn't do this anyway, stay in the garden and then we can park the pram outside and he can carry on sleeping and we can play with the ball and Dexter can come out. So it's altogether a better idea. I just don't know why I even came for a walk. It is not something I normally do. I don't know whether I just did it because I'm filming today. <laughs> Sometimes I feel quite guilty because um, because I work from home, I tend to try and get bits of work done all the time throughout the day. And I suppose if I didn't have that to do, I'd be bored or I'd feel like I had to get out of the house and we'd go to more things maybe or be a bit more adventurous. But um, when I'm on my own or when there's lots to do, we just end up, I don't know, I suppose it's fine. But um, I mean, we do go on a walk every day, I suppose. Yeah, what am I talking about? Oh God. Mother's guilt. It is ten past five, which means we're on the home stretch. So I'm making pasta. We're going to put some tuna in it and some peppers and some courgette hidden and some mushrooms. Uh, it is a good job that it is the time that it is because I honestly, it's actually gone quite fast, but um, I'm exhausted, actually. I'm exhausted and the worst thing is thinking about the fact that, um, oh, I wonder what that parcel is. The fact that I have got actually loads of work to do tonight. So from seven o'clock onwards, I have to start my work day and I actually just can't be asked really. Um, don't take that over there. Yeah, be careful with that. Good girl. And um, poor little Ted hasn't really fed properly. I mean, he's had a couple of good feeds today, but not as many as he'd have if I was just solely concentrating on him. So I do think it is a major juggling act having two sort of an older baby, well she's a toddler, but two under two. Um, because they both require very separate types of attention. That's the best way of putting it. Woohoo! Here she comes. Pasta with courgettes and peppers and a bit of tuna and some passata and some garlic is done. So this is when it gets tricky, is when one of them starts going mad. Oh, well done Angelica. With your squeezy yoghurt. Are you right, Ted? Is he crying? He's a bit hot. You're a bit hot. <laughs> we call him down. <laughs> Hasn't got his socks on. Where have they gone? What time is it? It's about ten past six. So we're almost done because Angelica goes to bed at quarter to, quarter to seven. Yeah. Um, and we're on sort of the home stretch now. And we like to watch In the Night Garden before she goes to bed. And then we sing at the end of it, don't we? We see Iggle Piggle, we see Maka Paka. So that's quite nice. I was going to attempt a little um, bath time for both of them. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether that's a bit adventurous. It's Daddy! Daddy's home! <laughs> I think I'm more excited than you. <laughs> Hello you. Just had some stir fry which I ate cold because um, Ted woke up as he does every single night exactly 
as the fork goes to my mouth. And then we hear him on the monitor. And so I thought, you know what? Because he hasn't had my full attention all day, I just came upstairs and I fed him. He didn't feed for long, but now he's awake again and we've got 20 minutes till broad church starts. And I really want to watch it. And I really want to watch it eating a mini magnum. So I'm gonna feed him now in a very relaxed and calm manner and see if he might drop off. Fingers crossed. And we've actually got quite a big day tomorrow and we've got to go into town. So I want to get a nice good sleep and get all my bits and pieces done and not go to bed too late. So this could be the last little part of this vlog. If it is, then good night and I shall see you next time.